Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be making Archie's spirals. This is a hexagon pattern and it's one of my absolute fav favourites. I, I love it. Um, I have a grandson and his name is Archie. So um, I named this one after him because I love it so much. So this is it. It's, it might look quite complicated, but seriously, it's so easy. Um, so to do this today, I'm using some um, DK yarn, a four millimeter hook. You're gonna need a stitch marker, scissors, and a needle, a darning needle. Okay, so I'll get this out of the way. And let's get started. So we're gonna start with a magic loop. So you literally just make a, making a loop. and chain one. Now we're now, now gonna work four single crochets into the loop. So one, two, three, four. And at this stage, I want to tighten that a little bit, but also we're gonna use that marker to mark the first stitch. So one, two, three, four. I'm gonna mark that there. Otherwise, <clears throat> we might struggle to identify which is the first stitch. So that's why we mark that there. So now I'm gonna work four half double crochets into the loop. And now four double crochets into the loop. So now we can tighten that up. And you can see why we needed to pop that marker in there. So at this stage, I'm gonna take that marker out. I've got my thumbnail right on the stitch, so I know just where it is. And from now on, I'm gonna be working just in the back loops of each stitch. And we're gonna work two double crochet in each stitch. So into the back loop, A double crochet. Let's mark that one again and another double crochet in that same loop. Okay and carry on around working two in the back loops only working two double crochet until you get back to your marker. And as you can see, I'm back to the marker again. So let's remove it. And still working in the back loops only, we're going to work another double crochet. I'm gonna mark it again. And another one in the same stitch and then 
one double crochet in the next stitch and we're going to repeat that three times so two double crochet and then one two and then one once more Okay, so now we're going to do exactly the same, but with half double crochets. So we'll work two half double crochets. And then one half double crochet. And again, repeat that three times. And finally, we're going to do it again, but with single crochets. So two singles and then one and another three times. And we're back to the marker again and as you can see that has pretty much brought us back to a circle from being a spiral again so now we can take out that marker we don't need that anymore and from now on we're going to be working through both loops of the stitches um, so in the next stitch we're going to make a corner we're going to now going to make this circle into a hexagon so going under both stitches if you do a single crochet and a chain, that represents a half double crochet, two chains, and then a double crochet into the same stitch. Okay, then we're going to be working a single crochet, and sorry, that was a half double crochet. And then four single crochets. Okay, back to a corner. So a half double crochet, two chain, half double crochet, and then a half double crochet, and four chain. Another corner. Half double crochet. And four singles. And carry on as established. with a corner and then a half double and four singles. There we go and then we're back to the start and so you want to do a slip stitch into the chain above the first single crochet that we worked to bring us back round to 
our hexagon. So at this stage, you want to cut that. Fasten that off, pull up your uh, magic loop and fasten that off too. I've got one here um, that is all fastened off. Now, as you can see, the unworked front loops have made a spiral going towards the center. And so we're gonna work into them now with a contrasting color. Um, so find your outer one and working with the hexagon towards you like this, pop that under that first loop. Get your contrasting color. And pull that up and just work a chain. Okay. And then work a single crochet in each of the loops towards the center. I find it easiest here to just fold the edge of the hexagon down so that you can see the loop clearly and get your hook under there. It is slightly fiddly, um, but it is easy. It's just, yeah, slightly fiddly. As you get near the centre, they get slightly smaller, tighter, but just persevere, you'll get there. That's one. And we're there. Okay, so at this stage, just cut off your end. And thread a darning needle. And just pop that through the centre hole of your hexagon and then just fasten that off at the back. Similarly with the other end Just feed that back through to the back and just fasten that off.
usually I go back on myself but just for quickness and there you go you could use I have used in the past um I've gone up a weight so I've used an iron weight yarn um to do the spiral which just makes it stand slightly more proud um and that's it really if you're wondering why on the on the last round where um I made this into a hexagon I did one I did the corner and then I did a um a half double crochet and then for single crochets the reason is that if I if I don't if I just do five single crochets as you can see here after the corner there's it there's like an indent and that happens on each side so to counteract that that's why we've done the half double crochet on the on the stitch directly next to the corner and that just brings that slightly higher and stops you getting that lip which just mars your your hexagon really so that's the reason why why that happens um you know just you might find that interesting you might find that um informative but anyway there you go so yeah arches spirals i love them absolutely love them um again you could also uh, join as you go with this by um adding a a chain so here we back to the same back to the same um back to the same row but if you do your corner and then do a sing a, a half double crochet a single crochet and then do a chain and miss a stitch and do your final two single crochets and then you corner again um you can because you've made the the space and the chain loop um join as you go if that's how you you prefer to work i have made a blanket <clears throat> excuse me um where i did join them as i went so i'll show a picture of that below okay so that's it hope you enjoy it um, keep safe everyone and bye for now.